The Stoneham Coalition and Hope for Boston's Homeless are hosting the third annual Recovery Fest on the Stoneham Town Common on Saturday, September 28th from 3 to 6 p.m. And joining me today are the founders and driving forces behind Recovery Fest, Lois and Frank Gould. Welcome. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Yeah, pleasure. It's a pleasure. All right. So let's talk about uh, Recovery Fest and what people can expect um, happening on the Town Common on the 28th. It's going to be a, a looks like it's going to be a fun day and, and hopefully the weather will hold out for us again. Yeah, we have a great, um, you know, uh, lineup in store for everybody. We make this a very uh, family uh, friendly oriented event. We have um, live, uh, live music by Neil and Company, which is a very popular um, local band. And then we also have three um, speakers lined up um, to um, people in recovery. And then we have a mom, um, Robin Bean, who lost her son, Nick, several years ago. And she has started a foundation called the Sun Will Rise Foundation. So she's here to speak about, well, she will be there to speak about all the work Mm -hmm. that um, she has done to help grieving um, parents. And um, there's going to be lots of raffles, games for um, kids to play. And this is our first year taking uh, sponsorships from, or I should say accepting sponsorships from um, treatment programs, whereas previously we've only um, solicited, you know, businesses. So we've um, gotten a really positive, you know, response to that, you know, as well. So in addition to the music, the raffles, we also have a lot of um, treatment programs in sober houses and, you know, things of that nature who will be having, you know, resource tables, you know, mm -hmm. as well. So we're very excited about it. Great. Right. And so what is the uh, what was the idea behind Recovery Fest when you had the idea a couple of years ago to to bring everybody um, in the community together to focus on this particular um, problem in, in our community? Well, you yeah, want to sure. They, so um, a lot of communities uh, outside of Stoneham do similar programs. Uh, Waltham does one. Um, that I've been to several times, or we've been to several times, and we thought it was a good idea to just raise awareness in the community of, um, you know, uh, taking care of mental health issues in the community, and um, you know, we people loved it when we started talking about it. So I think we uh, we're hoping to get a great turnout this year. It's you know the third year, and it's been better every year since the first year. So um, we're hoping to continue to grow it and. Um, get more people involved. It's very difficult to get people to come to events that are just um, solely based on um, trying to think, you know, treatment or recovery, but making it a family friendly event, you know, we have found too opens up a lot more people to coming because mm -hmm. there's still quite a bit of stigma that goes along, you know, with, um, you know, with addiction. So it's a way, too, of us being able to reach um, a lot of people in a manner in which it's not just about, like, addiction, mm -hmm. so to speak. And so what kind of information will be there be available? Um, I mean, I know there'll, there'll be speakers, but other than that, um, there'll be other information about different treatment programs and um, assisted yep. living, things like that as well. Yep. We, um, a lot of, you know, local um, sober houses are going to be there and you know, different treatment programs, just, you know, we'll have information available about their options, um, you know, that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, with they different different uh, types of programs, whether it be sober living, 12-step programs, uh, intensive outpatient programs, um, you know, there'll be all different uh, variety of, uh, of program people representing uh to talk to people about they um they'll be able to explain what they have to offer mm -hmm. and what maybe insurance coverage what insurance doesn't cover and they'll be able to talk to that uh with people mm -hmm. right. we'll also be giving out narcan and we'll be doing some training and you know explaining to people also like how to um how to use that yeah. right 
So if someone wanted to get involved, uh, either as a volunteer or perhaps as a, a, dis a display um, a participant, how would they do that? Uh, they could just send me in, you know, an email or, you know, a text message or, you know, by messenger. And we're always looking, you know, for volunteers and, you know, people to get, you know, involved, however they however they want to. We're all, we always appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And now talk a little bit about, uh, besides the Recovery Fest, um, talk a little bit about Hope for Boston's Homeless and what you do um, with that program as well. Okay, so we've been doing this for um, for several years now. And typically um, what we do is we collect, you know, donations. The Stone of Community has been wonderful about, you know, supporting us, you know, year after year. So um, we then we go into, then we take what we have and go into Boston, you know, once a month and, you know, distribute um, things to the people in need down there. Um, generally, like over the summer, you know, as it gets warmer, the numbers of people grow, you know, that are down there. We were just there a week or so ago and there was probably at least a couple of hundred oh, yeah, people, people, you know, the sidewalk. I would say. So there's still, um, you know, a huge need, you know, for that. And we get donations, you know, all the time, literally almost on a daily basis. I have people, you know, dropping stuff off, um, you know, at my house. And the senior center also has a um, a box in their lobby that people are able to drop off donations, you know, there, you know, as well. And I, they call me and I come, you know, pick them up. So, and then um, about a year ago, I we also get a lot. I sh well, I should back up a minute. We also have, you know, local needs, you know, as well. So about a year or so ago, I started another initiative called Lola's Closet, whereas we try to focus more on helping people, you know, within the Stoneham community and surrounding, you know, communities. So yeah. again, I get donations the same way. And then people either email me or I get referrals from people as to, you know, who needs what, you know, and how we can help. And we also have our two clinicians involved from Elliot, you know, with us, mm -hmm. um, who also will give us referrals. That's Danielle Visconti and uh, Tracy Rizzo. And they might tell us about people that they know of that are in need and we'll get donations together or whatever they need to get it, you know, to them. So that's actually been very successful, you know, and well as well. And we help we on an ongoing basis, we help, you know, quite a few families in Stoneham. Right. So So on September twenty eighth, we will gather together on the Stoneham Town Common and celebrate um all of the, everything that, that you do and everything that uh, you know, the every the, the recovery community does uh, for the people in our area. So um, really appreciate that. I know the uh, Stoneham Recreation Department will be out there with all of the uh, the different lawn games for kids. Uh, so yes. they don't get they've bored. Been and, <laughs> yeah, they've been a great help letting us use the, uh, the, the toys for the kids and they're out there playing cornhole and everything else they have there. Down there. Yeah, that's they, been a huge, yeah. that's been a huge success. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Well, anything else you'd like to talk about regarding uh, Recovery Fest? Um, no, 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 not no. that I can think of. Uh, I mean, weather holds okay. where um, <laughs> you know, people can make uh, donations. You know, at any time, we do have the flyers that have, as you know, have the QR code, which links to you know a PayPal um, account, mm -hmm. and those donations will be used towards you know homeless. Um, things that we may need for our homeless drive are also towards um, sober living uh, scholarships. And the other thing I want to add to is that we are also going to be um, donating a, or I should say presenting a scholarship to New Beginnings, which is a, so a women's sober house in mm -hmm. Stoneham to uh, Joelle Dawson, who is the manager. So that will be for a scholarship um, at Women's Sober House so at, at the Recovery Fest event. Great. 
All right. Well, thank you for joining me today, Lois and Frank Gould, uh, for Home for Boston's Homeless and the Stoneham Coalition. And we look forward to seeing you on September 28th. All right. Thank you thank for you, having Dennis. us.